everybody, DMogGmod here, and welcome back for some more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we returned to the Awakening Wood and entered the Bulblax Kingdom, the third dungeon that we have found here so far. And we made it down here to sub-level 4, which I think is... We should be at the halfway point at least, or beyond. And it seems this floor is covered with electricity, so we're going to have to be extra careful. But before we worry about any electricity, we got over here... Good old Ivory Candy Pop Bud. So how about... Okay, first of all, let's get our electric Pikmin. Let's take care of these quickly. There we go. Nice and easy, alright. And now, time to sacrifice even more red Pikmin. Uh, I really, I, I, honestly, when I'm out of this dungeon, like, after we're done, like, this today, day six, I think I'm going to take a day just to go out and grow some Pikmin. And hey, maybe I'll have it, make it, like, a little... I don't know, maybe I'll make it like a little trivia video or whatever during it. Because there's actually a lot of cool little things that I actually know about this game's development and like unused things about the game of the sort. So who knows? Maybe that'll be what I'll do tomorrow. Either way, though, let's not worry about that for now. Uh, so there we go. We got five more purples. I think that makes us have 30 purples now, which is pretty good. And from the looks of it, this entire floor is covered with Anno Beetles. So it looks like we're going to be doing... Oh! Oh, that's evil! Oh my... Gabe, you are such a dick. Good thing I didn't have my Pikmin with me. They have freaking Wallywog traps. This game is evil. Okay, we got a Honey Wisp over here. Ooh, you're just a Flint Beetle. Not bad. I should explain quickly because the Iridescent Flint Beetle, in every Pikmin game, works a little bit differently. The Iridescent Flint Beetle is actually a Flint Beetle that actually holds treasure instead of your normal item. So you're going to have to hit it if you want your, a treasure, which we'll go get that in a second. And then over here, I think it just loops around. Uh, looks like it. Alright, so this floor is going to be entirely yellow uh, yellow Pikmin. Alright. That being said, we'll just leave our other Pikmin behind. And, okay, not entirely because we had the Wally Wog, but for the most part, it'll be just our yellow Pikmin. And I would like my purples to take care of that Wally Wog if possible. Seriously, though, who puts a Wally Wog trap? What game developer was that evil to think, yes, let's put a Wally Wog as a trap? Like, how... How much of a... How much do you have to hate the world to make a Wally Wall? Oh, Jesus! That vo I don't think I can recreate that voice, I, that sound if I ever tried. <laughs> Who decided it was a good idea to make a Wally Wall trap? Oh my god, alright. Well, wouldn't be picking two without some, something like that. Alright, uh... I think we're gonna get our purples here. Come over here. Wally Wall. Oh, you keep being stupid. That works too. All right, go, 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 go. There you go. Problem solved. Oh, we had a treasure too. Okay, so I had to fight this wall wall game. You are a jerk. Holy crap. But at least it's over with. Freaking making a wall wall required to fight. How evil do you have to be to do that? Anyways, though, nothing to be writing about the wall wall. We got a treasure here. Let's go ahead and bring this back. The purple will do that just fine, and then. Get our yellows back over here, and let's go ahead and throw the floor. Because besides that really long, it should only be yellows we need for this floor. All right, let's get going. Right, where'd that flint beetle go? That's the honey wisp. Flint beetle. He's somewhere around here. He's somewhere around here. Anyways, oh, first treasure of the floor, which I think, yeah, 100 pokos. I think it's a zodiac coin. I think that's what they're called. We got an unknown merit. All right. Not bad. So let's see here. Oh, there he is. All right, cool. All right, come on. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa Olimar. Come to old Pop Pop over here. Come on. There you go. Holy crap. He had a huge freaking diamond inside him or something. We're not really a diamond, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't even know where it is. This looks like, what, what does this look like? Oh yeah, it reminds me. This kind of looks like a Poke Park, like one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? Oh, uh, it's been a while since I played Poke Park. I actually can't remember the name of them, but they're that item that you get when you ever you complete like one of those, um, uh, when you ever you complete one of the games around the world where you had to complete it to get the Prism Shards, I think they're called. It looks like that. Anyway, so I have no idea what the heck I was doing with such a big object inside of it or how it even got it, but whatever. Nintendo logic, baby. Of 101, uh, or not one, 10 Pokos. The Crystal King, and no, not the Mario, uh, Paper Mario one. Very pretty, I gotta say. It looks really nice. And I think it's all the treasure on the floor. That would indeed be all the treasure on the floor. All right. 
I just have to kill all the animals because we just had to get the treasure back. So hooray! Less murder! I'm a pacifist, dang it! <laughs> Anyways, though, with that being said, I think we should move on to the next floor. Since there's no treasure left, let me just give her these because Olimar is not immune to electricity. And I do not need Olimar dying. Alright, there we go. Anyways, that being said, though, I think we'll jump on to the next Alrighty, sorry for the weird little cut there. I had to go take care of something quickly. Sub level 5. How about we get this started? I don't think this is quite the bottom floor, but we're getting pretty close to it. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's really dark. I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, let's just take it slow. We're gonna leave my thing here. Let's take a. What the? Well, yep, yeah, you see that there, folks? That there is something you're gonna get used to. That there is a bomb rock trap. That's right, they will drop bomb rocks from the ceiling. Which I guess means I should probably talk about bomb rocks now, since that's our first one seeing in the game. Bomb rocks are very different from Pikmin 1, as in, Yellow Pikmin can no longer pick them up, meaning none of your Pikmin can no longer interact with bomb rocks, except, you know, die from them. Bomb rocks are completely a hazard now, you cannot use them to your advantage. Be careful around them, they are instant death if you get hit by them. So watch out. And, oh, there's another. Yeah, you're gonna get used to seeing that. Pikmin... This game loves to try and kill you in the most evil ways, so be careful. Alright, let's see. We got lots of orange bulb orbs, it looks like. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. We got an orange bulb orb here. Oh, it is really dark. I do not like this. We got an orange bulb orb over there. Well, this looks like a job for the purple, that's for sure. Alright, get my pickle together. Alright, there we go. Wow, actually, I thought they were gonna like really mess up that like this organization, like mess up that organization, but they actually yeah, did a pretty good job. And sure, we'll bring one blue along with us too. Why not? All right, so let's start off taking care of the babies. There you go, nice and easy. Taking it really slow here because you never know where a bomb rock trap will spawn. And oh, oh, gay! Don't give me heart attacks like that, Jesus. Oh, I love this game and I hate it because it scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, anyways. Got some nectar here. Do not wake up the orange ball board. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this thing on from behind, so that being said. Go, 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 Aha! Alright. That worked out fine. Alright, take care of the other baby. And I don't wanna jinx it. Oh, he got funny, he got stuck by the attack him. I don't wanna jinx it. But I think that should be the end of the traps. Maybe. Keyboard is maybe. Alright, there's the other baby. I think that's all the enemies on the floor. No trap over here. Alright, cool. I'm picking on this. Now, I am staying here because the game even loves putting traps when you're like just digging stuff up. My advice is that if a Pikmin is digging something up, never leave it alone because there's a very likely chance that the game will drop a trap in your way. And hey, it only took five floors. We're actually seeing some more bulb orbs inside the, you know, the Bulb Black's Kingdom. You know, the place that's supposed to be filled with bulb orbs or whatever. Kind of weird how the game, dungeon's names are named after, like, certain, like, types of enemies. And yet, there's not really a whole lot of them in them. Anyway, so, that might be the only treasure on this floor, actually. Let's see. This looks like a... Actually, I don't know what this is. Obnoxious... Wait, no, that... Not obnoxious. <laughs> Anxious sprout. Whoopsies. There you go. And, yep, that's all the treasure on the floor. All right, I'm not bringing any Pikmin with me. I'm just gonna play it safe. Have all more going to zone. And making our way to the exit. So that floor, despite being a little dickish with its traps, you know, that floor wasn't so bad. You know, it could have been a lot worse. Anyways, on to floor number six. Let's go. Alright, sub so level 6. This might actually be the final floor. I don't know. Okay, no, this is, a, this is not the final floor. This is not the final floor. And it looks like we got some fire hazards. Alright. Looks like the red pickman are getting some use. But, aw, the game's looking, look, the game's pitying me. It's letting me have more red pickman if I want it. But I'm sorry, game. Even though you have some pity on me, I'm going to be sticking with a little squadron of not, six reds. Woohoo. Alright, cool. And, ooh, wow. Even more purples. 
You know what? For once, I'm not gonna throw my red Pikmin in there. I should have at least a little bit of red Pikmin, you know? And aha! Game, I didn't get scared this time. You're a little late on that trap. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got... Oh, jeez, that's like a whole mess. Of, that's not good. That's not gonna be fun at all. <laughs> oh, boy, we'll get there when we get there. Oh, uh, what else we got? Uh, in here? Doesn't look like nothing. Oh, okay, there's definitely something. Right, I'll just let that blow up. Treasure... Okay, I was just seeing if there's anything buried there. The treasure radar would be active if there was, but there isn't. Well, in that case, looks like it's another job for the good old purples. All right. Get the purples here. 28. All 30 of them. Soon to be 35, because we have a lot of them. Alright, with well, that being said. Come on, Leafs. You can keep up. Alright, and go, 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 go. Oh god, that was bad. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap, that was bad. Holy crap, that was yikes. Oh god, that was awful. We lost like, yeah, 17 purples. God, that was awful. Now, normally if we have Pikmin deaths, I'm willing to just live with it because, you know, that's on me. However, in this case, there is actually something later in the game that we need a lot of purples for. And that is really going to suck, losing 17 like that. So I think for this one time, and one time, hopefully, alone, I am probably going to reset the floor. So with that being said... <clears throat> Alright, we're back after that reset. Normally, I don't like resetting, but you know, in that case, it is going to be something kind of important for later. So I am going to make an exception there and actually reset. However, when we go to the final death totals of the project, I will definitely add that 17 on. That was on me. I did lose 17 Pikmin. So don't worry, it does count. I will definitely count that on to the end, because we're not going to fancy out of that. And since I reset the floor, I think the layout actually changed too, so... We're going to have a new floor to explore pretty much, so that's pretty cool. So that's kind of something I actually really like about Pikmin 2, is that since the floors are like semi-random, every time you play Pikmin 2, you'll have a different experience with it, which is pretty cool. And yeah, okay, so the nest is still here, it just kind of placed differently. So like the general idea like of the floor is still there, it just, you know, kind of moved around a little bit, makes it for a different experience. I like it a lot. One of those cool, really cool things about Pikmin 2. That being said, though, uh, I want to swap to Louie. Because I think... I'm actually going to test something quickly. Okay, never mind. No. I was seeing if the music actually sped up or slowed down depending on your captain's HP. I actually didn't know that or not because it sounded kind of slow, the music, for, since Olimar had low HP. And Louie has full, so I was kind of curious, but it doesn't seem like it changes at all. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering something wrong. Right, we got a fire hazard here, so... Bring our squadron of a wonderful eight reds. Or, no, I was gonna say, what the heck? We don't have eight reds. Freaking whites always trying to sneak in. <laughs> Alright, let's take our reds. And there you go. Alright. I might actually use some of my potions on this. Should I? I have three red potions I could go for. You know what? I think it's worth it. Let's do it. Alright, red potion activated. We go! Charge for the Motherland! I'm surprised we haven't woken up the other orange bubble yet. Alright, there we go. Come on, come over here. Alright, charge! Go, 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 go. Aha! There you go. That's more like it. And I guess we can take our hands if you have our red potion. We can probably kill him before he gets to attack. Oh, sh whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap. I forgot that if you... You can't even kill him before he gets attacked. If he starts an attack, you will actually get hit no matter what. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with a bee, you may be able to help them. I completely forgot that they, you... They, once they start their try attack, you can't end it. All right. Oh, don't tell me I lost the purple. Oh, I lost the purple from doing that. Oh, well, I'm not going to freak over one purple. That's fair. 17 is a little crazy, but one I won't reset over. All right, that was kind of stupid on my part, but whatever. I'll, I'll live. And hopefully that last little attempt that we had happen, hopefully that just shows you why I tell you to look out for these orange bulb orbs so much. I didn't get the sun on the purple picket, and they killed that many Pikmin just like that. They are dangerous. Alrighty. 
This floor has definitely not gone the best, but you know what? We'll, we'll make it work. We're alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. That, I don't think it's the only treasure on this floor, so I guess I'll take my red pick and we'll go taking a look around. Will they bring the treasure back? All right. Let me see around here. Uh, I think there's a treasure over here. It looks like we've got like some sort of yeah, some sort of giant skull over here. We're definitely gonna want all of our Pikmin over here, so let me take care of the fire hazards quickly. We're not gonna do what we did last time. We're not gonna just try and brute force our way through. We're actually gonna use a red Pikmin. In the meanwhile, though, treasure time. The Eternal Emerald Eye. Looks really pretty. I like it. All right. That being said, let me get our Pikmin for this. And that should be it. I don't, think, I don't even think he shakes Pikmin off, so, like, should be fine. Yeah, there you go. All right, no problem. Where's the other one? There he is. Hello there, Mr. Spider. Don't mind me. Just got to kill you. <laughs> and there we go. Now it should be safe for everyone to get through. And I'm going to quickly destroy this fire hazard just to make sure that's true. And I think, besides the skull, I think that should be all the treasure on this floor. Unless it's one underground. I, okay, besides the skull. All right, there we go. So now with that being said, I haven't actually seen the uh, Violet Candy pop up yet, so... We'll keep our eyes out for it. Oh! Wait, is, is there a Violet Candy pop button? Did they remove it on the floor? I don't think they do that. Oh, Jesus! Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Did no one die? That was such an evil combo, holy crap. Ah, this game is being a dick to me now, I don't like it. That was such an evil combo, putting these enemies here, which make your pick would run around everyone, then putting a bomb rock, like, what a dickish combo. And ooh, the game's being nice to me again, holy, it's like, it like immediately like was like sorry for what it did, and then it was immediately unsorry. <laughs> the traps are everywhere in this dungeon, holy crap. All right, so for the time being, let me just get my purples quickly. Let me just take care of this. This floor has been intense. I like it. So let me just quickly take care of this thing. There you go. All right, there's a Violet Candy Pop out over there. All right, doing good, doing good. Sort of good. <laughs> all right, so for the time being, we get all my figures together, all 99 of them. Rest in peace, that one purple. We will call him Jerry, and we will never forget him. All right, and we'll go, and let's get some nectar. And that was awful. I think we got stuck in the wall. Whatever, though, we got a good amount of nectar. All right, and let's go get this red potion. Actually makes up for the one I used on this floor, so thank you, game, for that. All righty, and with that being said, I gotta go get that one last treasure, and then I think we're pretty much out of here. We're out of this floor, at least. We're not quite done yet. Alright, let's see. So it's over here. Now, I'm gonna be staying with the Pikmin until they actually start carrying, because again, bomb rocks are dropping, as you've already seen a lot. And bomb rocks are not so nice. Alright, let's have them all pick this up. Good old 101. That should be back in lightning quick speed. Alright, cool. So that being said, we can go over here for our 69 Pikmin. Nice. <laughs> and how about. Uh, what pick would you want to throw in the eye Violet Candy Pop blood? I don't know. I don't want to throw reds. We, I, I kind of want to keep some reds, you know. Uh... You know what? I'll throw some yellows in. I'll throw some yellows in. And that should be the final treasure of the floor, right? Right, Gabe? Don't make a liar out of me. And with that treasure, we're actually at over 5,000 Pokos now. Not bad. The Colossal Fossil. That rhymes. And it looks... What animal does this remind me of? It kind of reminds me of a saber tooth in a way. I don't know. Maybe it's like a little fangs at the bottom. I don't know. Someone in the comments probably knows what it's called. This is based off. I know my friend Elena definitely would know it. <laughs> she loves animals like that. Anyways, so that was the final treasure. All right, cool. So that being said, I'm going to get our yellows. Let's go find more purples and be gone off this cursed floor. I gotta love how, like, at the start of this dungeon, I was saying, like, oh, this dungeon hasn't actually been this bad, you know, even though it was, like, I remember it being kind of, like, a step up in difficulty from, like, the norm. And then it kind of just turned evil all of a sudden. But, hey, I like it. It makes it challenging. It makes the thrill of the adventure worth it, or something like that. 
All right, that being said, I'm just gonna leave my pick in here. Let's not risk anything. And how about we just make our way nice and easy out of this floor? This floor of terror. Dude, this floor is evil. Anyways, though, let's move on to the seventh floor. All right, sub level seven. All right, this one I'm pretty sure is the final floor. I said that four times in a row. I gotta be right at some point, right? <laughs> right? There you go. This is the real final floor. And even though I, I was doing it a lot before, you can kind of see something over there in the distance. However, we're not gonna be taking it on this episode. Yes, I know cliffhangers are not always fun. But we got a lot done this episode. It was quite the chaotic episode. I think we're good to leave it here. So, next time on Pikmin 2, we'll be finishing up the Bulbox Kingdom. Seeing whatever it could be that's over there. And maybe, perhaps, entering another dungeon after that. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Pikmin 2. See you guys then.